up, people. Yeah. This is Guru. Welcome to Chucky with Real Ron. I cut today's topic. Naruto manga chapter, I don't know. But yo, let's get into it. Um, I got to say, man, you, y'all follow the Guru. If you follow the Guru, you follow my channel, y'all know I'm not a fan of modern, man. You know, you get way overhyped. To be such a failure, you know. But I got to get a devil to do. Finally, somebody in Naruto that's a villain, supposed to be a villain, dies as the villain. You know what I'm saying? Um, he he had the balls to be like, look, you know, I'm still not piecing out with you, dog. You know what I'm saying? They're like Hashira was kind of like, you know, like he really wasn't trying to squash it, squash it, but he was kind of like, you know. We both made mistakes, you know, it's up to a younger generation. Hopefully they won't make the same mistakes we did. Uh, you know, let's put their ass behind us, you know, but, you know, they were talking about drinking from the same cup of bottles. Pretty much like, man, you know what, man, fuck it, man. I'm dead anyway. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he like, he like, he died his own iniquity, man. He died with his sins, man. That cat didn't change, you know, but the thing about it is Kishimoto done messed up, messed up so much, man. We don't know how much of... His plan really was his, you know. Um, you know, everybody hated on Obito. Obito's Madara's puppet. He's Madara puppet. Yeah, that, you know, everybody said about Obito, but Obito was fighting back against Madara the whole time. You know what I'm saying? To be a puppet, puppets don't fight back. You know what I'm saying? He played Obito, yeah. Yeah, you know. That is what it is, you know. But Madara was like full steam ahead with the plan. You know, he didn't fight back. He didn't know until the very end, like, how much of this plan was really his how, you know what how much of it you know that he conceived in his own mind so everybody was saying that uh Madara, i mean obito never came up with his own uh way of thinking and he was following Madara, but Madara wasn't even coming up with his own way of thinking so he was following black zetsu and kaguya so you know so hey you know if you hate on obito you gotta hate on Madara, you know but one thing i did like I like the way both of them ended off, but I hate that they kept bringing Obito back. That part fucked it up, you know what I'm saying? I did not like that. Let Obito be gone. He did his thing. He should have been gone as soon as he, um, when he died, he turned into flakes and stuff. He crumbled. That was a great send off for that little the scene they had with Ren. That was dope. I felt that, man. I felt that he, he, they ended that good. Kishimoto did a good job with that, but that whole coming back, you know, to give Obito, uh, to give uh, Kakashi his eyes and stuff, that was played, man. I, I didn't like that shit, man. I mean, it was cool with uh, with uh, with uh, Kakashi having both of the um, the eyes and everything, the Shuriken, but it is what it is. I, um, but then he lost him, man. I, I didn't like that, but I can kind of see how that went because it's like, okay, Obito, when you die, you're on a different plane of existence. So you can probably say you... you another dimension now you got the physical realm and you got the spiritual realm uh when you die your soul is going to a spirit realm or it's a supernatural realm you're supernatural you're not of this natural world no more you know so you're pretty much energy now you know what i'm saying so with that being said obito's on this different plane of existence you know i did like how he come weed his way back into the physical plane um plane of the thing and then actually altered, you know, a physical uh, something, a, finis, a physical being. He actually could physically, uh, you know, interact with a physical being. But as far as the way they explained it, was kind of like pretty cool. It was, it was plausible, you know what I'm saying? Because it's like, okay, technically he, he didn't give Kakashi his eyes, physical eyes. He pretty much gave Kakashi his ability. His energy, his keys, uh, whatever you want to call it, uh, chakra, whatever. He he pretty much gave this that part of his energy to Kakashi. That transferred over to Kakashi, not the physical manifestation of his eyes, because there was no physical body left of Obi to transfer the, to transfer the eyes over over to uh, Kakashi. You know what I'm saying? So once the, the everything was happened, I guess Obi soul rested and. The eyes returned back, the spiritual part of him was returned back to the uh, supernatural realm, you know. So, he never really physically kind of reacted, uh, 
interacted with Obito in that sense. You know what I'm saying? He saw like I guess an like energy form or a key or spirit, whatever you want to call it, of Obito. So that was cool. So all this made it seem like Obito was actually housed inside of Kakashi, and he was working uh, his ability uh, through Kakashi's body, but Kakashi still was in control of his own body. So I mean, that's what I took from it, you know, and that's cool because he was saying like Obito helped him when he was talking to the uh, Sage of Six Path. Uh, I don't know, man. It's still up to debate, man. Is the Sage a bad guy or not? You know what I'm saying? Uh, all this stiff competition's out of the way, y'all. I mean, who? All the Hokages are gone. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he took back his powers from um, Naruto and Sasuke. Kakashi's powers are gone. The Hokages that, that um, are in this generation suck ass. You know they can't they can't do anything. They couldn't even beat Madara, so they damn sure can't beat the the Sage. Uh, all the tail beasts are there for the grabbing, you know. I mean, and they all they all love the Sage Six Path. So I don't know, man. He, if, if he's a bad guy, man, I mean, everything's ready for him to take over. So we'll see, man. But it was a shame to see that they really did. The way it looks, they really did seal Kaguya. Um, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's getting rushed, man. You can tell. It's, it's, it's a signal. This is the end. Um, they're rushing to the finish line and all that, man. It's really going on, you know. Um, so, it might just be the end. Hey, they're going to have to top some loose ends. Hopefully, top something. Kishimoto, please. And uh, it's going to be in an Naruto, man. But, uh, my man, I listen to uh, Fenever World, man. Uh, shout out to Fenever World. And he said something that a lot of other people are saying, a lot of other reviewers are saying that, that like Sasuke a lot about um, how he's going. He saw Madara and he was rushing to go stab Madara. And then he was saying the same time, like when uh, Obito was on the ground, uh, Sasuke rushed to go kill Obito. And a lot of people like that, saying, okay, he's making decisions. He's being like, okay, like I got to do what needs to be done, which is cool. But if you think about if, if this rush and brash way of thinking he's doing, that's not really making him badass. It's kind of making him stupid because just think, if he would have rushed and killed Obito, the world would be gone right now. Because Obito saved his life twice. And pretty much, uh, you know, if it wasn't for Obito's interaction at the end, this thing would be over right now. You know what I'm saying? It'd be over. Madara, you know, Kage would have took over. Eric, the world been doomed because, like I said, he saved, he saved Ka um, uh, Sasuke from that dimension. Then he saved him again, again with the with old girl threw the bones at him. He saved him again. He saved Kakashi and Naruto and them. And he took the, you know what I'm saying? So if, so if he would have killed Sasuke, if Sasuke would have killed Obito then, they would have been done. So that just shows you what that brash thinking, like, I'm going to wipe somebody out right now. You know what I'm saying? You, you got to think, man. You got to be benevolent. You know, that's why when Ob um, Naruto takes his time to see things, people are like, what is he waiting for? What is he doing? Oh, my God. He should be talking. He should be reacting like uh, Sasuke. You know, Sasuke is ready to go. I'm ready to go. But what did Sasuke do when he was ready to jump back on Kage? Let's go. Let's go. And uh, Ob um, Naruto took the time to talk to Sa um Obi told the last words. Who was the one that struck, struck the blow on uh, Kaguya? It was Naruto. And then you got to think again. When Sasuke had the chance to kill Naruto back at, um, when he first uh, rescued, when he was trying to rescue Sasuke from uh, Orochimaru, when they were uh, trying to revive, uh, retrieve Sasuke. And Sasuke went inside Naruto and he saw the, uh, the fox. What did the fox tell Sasuke did? He said, do not kill, you know, listen to me, do not kill Naruto. You know what I'm saying? He could have killed Naruto then. You know what I'm saying? If he killed Naruto then, once again, the world would be in an end. He would be dead. Sasuke would have been all the way into the darkness right now when for, uh, if he would have killed Naruto. So all his brash thinking is, is a good thing that he didn't kill these people. Or he didn't uh, get the chance to do what he was thinking because he'd be, it'd be done. You know, he's too... Um, Naruto, like I did a video back there, Naruto takes out the Hashirama and he's a naive. Sasuke takes him out the Madara and he was too uh, extreme. I said Toby Rama was the best Hokage because he knew the balance, you know what I'm saying? Like, yo, you, I can't think all the way this way, I can't think all the way that way, I gotta be in the middle. That's why I said neither one of them are ready to be Hokage, and I really hope that Kakashi still becomes a Hokage because he's more rational and reasonable thinking. He thinks on both sides, he still knows what has to be done on a, on a war level or fugilist level. 
as far as planning and stuff. That's why the uh, six, uh, six, uh, Sage Six Pass gave him props. Like, yo, you're a good thinker. I like the way you did, you know, handle Naruto, blase, blase, your strategy and stuff. But at the same time, remember when he was, he was going to kill um, Obito? And he said, nah, don't worry about it. I'm going to handle this. This is my friend. I'll, I'll deliver the final blow to him. Same thing when he was going to have to go kill Sasuke. What he told him, he said, nah, y'all stay back because y'all ain't going to, you know, he pretty much didn't want the blood on their hands. Like, look, y'all ain't ready for this. If anybody going to kill Sasuke, it's going to be me. You know, I can take this pain. You know what I'm saying? He was always that dude. He was always stepping forward. He was always thinking about the team. He was thinking about their future. And he was thinking about, he was able to take the, take the regret, the pain, and the anguish on himself. You know, so... I really like Kakashi, man. Y'all be bashing on a lot of people be bashing on Kakashi. Kakashi a good dude, man. He a real good character, man. Um, and pretty much right now, he's pretty much a completed character. You know, uh, he went through a lot in his past, like, um, and he's teaching the future. You know, so it is what it is on that. You know, as far as uh, that whole Sasuke deal. I mean, I like Sasuke too, man. But he gotta calm his ass down. You can't just rush into decisions about just going. I'm gonna kill somebody right now. I gotta go. You know, you can't, you can't do like that, man. That's a bad Okage, you know? Uh, but, uh, we gonna see, man. It's getting interesting, man. I'm, I'm trying to see how you gonna wrap this up, man. It was, it was a decent chapter, man. Um, Like I said, to me, the start of the chapter, man, I gotta give the devil his due with Madara, man. I like the way he went out, man. He went out like a villain, you know? Uh, He didn't take, what, no take backs? No, oh, I'm sorry, and what was me? And I should have not. I'm almost like, look, <laughs> I did what I thought was right, and I failed again, as he usually always does, and I'm going to die of my failure, <laughs> which he did, you know what I'm saying, and uh, even a good part, too, about what Naruto was talking about his mom, that was touching, man, he was trying to tell uh, Minato what to tell his mom, you know, he told him happy birthday, it's funny how all this shit happened on his birthday, but hey, it is what it is, it seemed like a lot of chapters went by for one day, Joe. but y'all, I've seen, you know, man, Guru's a sucker for a, a father-son scene, man. I really enjoyed that, man. And, uh, you know, you saw Naruto with the tears in his eyes, man. I know King of Lightning probably gonna talk some shit about that, but that's some, <laughs> you know, King of Lightning is about people that cry and shit, but that was an emotional scene, man. I, I really like that, man. The man was talking about his moms and stuff, man, and, you know, the sad thing was he really never really got to talk to her again. I wish he had that chest like, really um, interact with her like he did with Minato. Um, that'd have been cool. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. Decent chapter, man. Uh, I like the ending. Uh, Naruto talk with Minato was good. Uh, Heshirama and um, Madara talk was good. Madara's death was good. It was done. Great. Uh, we could have done without Obito, man. Like I said, I want Obito my dude. Obito my ninja. Y'all know that. Obito my ninja. Yeah. Let Obito rest in peace, but you know, they had to put an end to it because they had to kind of explain what had happened with the eye ordeal, kind of. So, yeah, I mean, it was entertaining. I enjoyed this one, man. Uh, if I had to rank it one to ten, I give it a, I give it a good uh, seven and a half. Seven, seven and a half. Good chapter, decent. Respectable, you know, it is what it is. But yo, man, I'll go. See y'all fellas in the comments section. It's the Guru. I'll let you later. Peace. Oh, yeah, before I go, man, start. If, if, if you got the time, man, you know, if you want to, take time out to like the video, man. Uh, it's going to help me out some, man. I'm trying to get more views. I'm trying to stay... It's helped me stay motivated to do more content, you know what I'm saying? You know, when you find out that people are actually watching your videos, it makes you want to do more, so... Um, not begging or nothing like that, you know? I ain't trying to get partner, no bullshit, you know? Just, you know, holler at your boy, man. Give me a thumbs up if you feel it's warranted. Give me a thumbs down if you feel it's warranted. Whatever it is, man, but, um... Yo, thank y'all for rocking with me, man. You know, I appreciate it, man. This is Guru. Peace. Chachi, you don't want it. Yo, Shaolin gun for a song here. Find my tail right suit on it. Dude, I know, let's get on it. The door is you ain't ready. I hold my hand up steady. Nigga, it's Karen. That dragon leave you heavy, huh? Power, 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 boost. Power, 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 baby. Boost. Power, 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 boost. It don't matter what you do, I stay power boosted.